puffy. And uh, he just got through eating a shrimp. Turned out the lights on him. Got a little mystery snail right there for him for a midnight snack. Blew over. Just want you guys to see he's uh he's not just laying on the bottom, he's kinda up and about somewhat. <clears throat> not a huge amount, but that is a uh, real progress for him. Makes me happy, happy, happy to see him moving around. If I can just get him like a the Fajaca swimming back and forth up and down the tank, we'll be in business. Look at this. Oh, he was trying to get airborne for a second. He may, he may still do it. I don't know. I called him and I come over here and to make this little film and I have spooked him a little bit, I don't know. We'll see what he does. Yeah, he's coming up a little bit. Wish he'd open his tail a lot more. I've seen it like Probably a total of six times. Uh oh. Thought if it's to catch it on film. Come on, puppy. Open your tail. Tomorrow is water change day. Maybe I'll make a film. Yep. Nitrates down a little bit. Did a water check on it earlier about. Uh, between 30 and 45 or something. Not high. About normal. For what I got in this tank, I guess. So I think my tap water has nitrates in it, actually, because it always is high. I'm always having a constant battle with nitrates. I'm going to try some Curigen. I've read a lot about it. They say it's like a little miracle cure for ammonia, nitrite, nitrates. I'm going to get me a liter of it and see what it does. Maybe it is a miracle. I don't know. If any of you guys use it, let me know and tell me what you think about it. I'd like to hear some real honest. Oh, look at that. Look, we got his tail. Part of it. And he didn't fully open it. But I'd like to know about the Puritan, because, uh, you know, I use uh, Prime to condition the water when I do a water change. It's supposed to help some with nitrates, nitrite and such. And uh, I guess it keeps it kind of low. I don't know. I mean, it never gets sky high. But I have had a tank, that the other tank, uh, man, like Cherry Kool-Aid, it was so red. When you do a little water test, I got the API Master water test kit, and I'll show it to you all one day. Now I'll do a little test. I'm sure most of you have one, or maybe use the strips. I don't know. I had the strips too, but I like doing the liquid drop test better. I think it's, my opinion, maybe a little more accurate. I don't know. I've tested it up against the strips, but they weren't, they weren't far off. Strips are much easier, but they can get expensive too. I can get a lot more tests for 25 bucks buying those 15, 20 dollar strips, and they're gone in no time. Well, I don't guess he's going to open his tail anymore. I don't want to stare at him all night. Uh, divider's doing good. Let's see what's going on over here. Mm, not a lot. I'm just chilling. <laughs> well.
Well, we got a parcel show of his tail, so I feel good about that. And just look at that fat, fat, fat belly. Oh, look, look, look. There it is. Wow, he's a happy, happy puffer. And it makes me a happy, happy owner. Wow. You're just showing off for the camera, aren't you? You must know I'm filming you. Oh, look at that. Who can't love that face right there? <laughs> it's only a face a mama can love. Absolutely awesome fish. He just doesn't move around a whole lot. Once I get him moving around a whole lot, he'll be even more awesome. <laughs> I'm, I thought about moving him to the Fajaca tank and put my Fajaca Puff Daddy over here. See what would happen. But I don't know if the peacocks would last very long. <laughs> He'd probably shred them up. Never know. I mean, people do it and get away with it. But I just I don't I don't know if I want to risk it right now. Maybe later we'll try something with him. We'll get some bigger uh, when those convicts get bigger. If he, well, you know he is munching down on those fry. But if some of them make it and get bigger, we'll see what happens if they make tank mates with him. He hasn't bothered the pleco at all. And this guy right here, this Mabua, he wouldn't bother a, a fly. I don't know what he, how he made it out in the wild. It's kind of lucky he got caught and brought in because he is very sensitive. Shy, I guess. But he's coming around. I don't know why he's faded out like on top too. A lot of the puffers I look at on other videos are you see a few like this but the majority of them the black really stands out in the yellow. Maybe uh, that's a stress deal or maybe it's a he's still young juvenile I don't know because I think mo most of the other ones are bigger. He's only like uh, probably 26 and 7 inches long. A lot of it's tail. But I'm going to leave it at that. I'm glad we got the tail on video opening. I mean, that was cool. So now I've seen it several more times, and so have you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate everybody subscribing to the channel, and I'm really enjoying it. Letting you guys look at my fish and see what I do, and I like looking at what you guys do with your fish. It's I'm glad we're all in this hobby and it's, uh, it's really enjoying to uh, be able to, to be fortunate enough to do stuff like this. You know, a lot of people, look at that, a lot of people don't get the opportunity to do things like we do to have these uh, exotic fish. I mean, you know, everybody gets a goldfish from Walmart. But we took it the next step further. And I appreciate it. I really do. It means a lot to me. Thanks a lot. And I will see you on the next video later.